We have live team coverage tonight on the winners and the parties. And boy, it was a show to remember. Yeah, forget about all the controversy. This year's Academy Awards were all about mm -hmm. the groundbreaking films that really made a mark. And of course, two performances have everyone talking tonight, especially a certain duet. KKLN Entertainment reporter Brittany Hopper starts us off. She's live at the Elton John after party in West Hollywood tonight, looking fabulous oh, and beautiful. glamorous, Miss Brittany. <laughs> Oh, Susie, oh, you guys, thank you so much. Well, listen, this is where many of the winners and nominees will be coming to party. Now, I was told that Lady Gaga is expected to be here later tonight. How amazing was Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper's performance? Oh, my goodness. Let's take a look at some highlights from tonight's Oscars. It was a rockin' start for the 91st Academy Awards at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood tonight. Adding to the concert-like atmosphere, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper brought the heat, performing Shallow from A Star Is Born. In the it won the Oscar for Best Original Song. I've worked hard for a long time, and it's not about, you know, it's not about winning, but what it's about is not giving up. If you have a dream, fight for it. There's a discipline for passion, and it's not about how many times you get rejected or but you fall down or you're beaten up. It's about how many times you stand up and are brave and you keep on going. As for the top honor of the night. And the Oscar goes to Green Book. <laughs> In addition to Best Picture, Green Book won three Oscars. It was among the most diverse Academy Award shows and group of winners, including the ladies from SNL, providing brief opening remarks in lieu of a formal host. We are not your hosts, but we're going to stand here a little too long so that the people who get USA Today tomorrow will think that we hosted. Spike Lee won his first Oscar for Black Klansman, Best Adapted Screenplay. The 2020 presidential election is around the corner. Let's all mobilize. Let's all be on the right side of history. Make the, make the moral choice between love versus hate. Let's do the right thing. Rami, Rami Malek. Malek. Rami Malek won the Oscar for Best Actor for his portrayal of Freddie Mercury. Listen, we made a film about a gay man, an immigrant who uh, lived his life just unapologetically himself. I am the son of immigrants from Egypt. I'm a first generation American. Olivia Colman. <laughs> Olivia Colman was surprised receiving her first Oscar for Best Actress for her role as Queen Anne in The Favorite. To be in this category with these extraordinary women and Glenn Close, I, you've been my idol for so long and this is not how I, I wanted it to be and I, I think you're amazing. I love you very much. Now, Roma also won Best Foreign Language and Cinematography Awards. It marked Netflix's first Oscars win for a feature film. Two other performers continued their award season winning streaks. Mahershala Ali scored the Best Supporting Actor for his work in Green Book. Best Supporting Actress went to Regina King for her role in If Beale Street Could Talk. 